In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use and customize your List Perfectly extension. When you're in your browser, click on your List Perfectly icon, and that brings up your List Perfectly extension with all of your settings. This is where you look for sales on your sales detection, you get your notifications, and where you change your settings. Now, there are main settings in this box that you can change across the board for everything you use List Perfectly for. And then along the top, you have icons for each individual selling platform, and you can change your settings within there. And each selling platform at the top, you're going to see a place to put your IDs. This is where you put your store or closet names so that the sales detection can pick up when you have sales on those platforms. And then there will be other options depending on the platform. And you can set these up to be as individualized as you are. If you ever have any questions about a feature or a setting and you want to know what it does, simply click on the question mark next to the feature in question. For instance, this says set as not for sale when ending listings on Poshmark. If you want to know more about that and whether or not that's a feature you want to turn on, click the question mark and it will bring you to a page that has that information. This extension setting is specifically used for marking listings sold on Poshmark. Please ignore the setting if you are not doing these functions. So if it's checked, when you mark sold on your LP catalog and select or check Poshmark, LP will open a new tab to your Poshmark listing and update it as not for sale. If it is unchecked when you mark sold on your catalog and select Poshmark, LP will open a new tab to your Poshmark listing and remove it from Poshmark. This listing will be removed and not shown as not for sale on your closet. That's just one example of the many features and ways to customize your list perfectly to work for you within each and every selling platform you're on. I recommend going through the main page here and each platform that you sell on and just getting familiar with your options and the settings that are available to you so you can turn on and off any of these features that you want to use for your business.